Welcome back to Save Heroes. Now, I said this is going to be a little different this time, and it is. This is my second time through. This is Groundhog Day for you guys, because I'm literally doing the same thing. I'm going to be doing some different screenshots, though, this time around. And I'm going to grab one right here before I teleport down to Laura again. But basically, we're doing it all again. And I'm going to read everything again, which is going to drive you guys bonkers. But hey, this one's going to be different. And it starts with the very first mission. Collateral Damage Part 1, Net Victory. All right, the first thing we need to do is try to get a bead on what exactly is causing the fifth column to become so active in this region. Well, we know at this point. My intel team has been tracking their comm traffic, but it's encrypted. We can't figure out where what they're saying, but we can figure out who's talking to whom, and we've located the hub of recent activity. If we can get our hands on their encryption codes, we might be able to get inside info we need. I'm guessing that's where I come in. Yep. Well, sort of. I've already made a recommendation to another local hero recruit. Goes by the name of Leon. He's got an infiltration mission underway. I think he can handle himself in there, but that's only based off his record. In the interest of being safe and coordinating your efforts, I thought you might want to provide some backup. Now we're going to do some backup. But first, I need a pick. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, I don't need that. Okay. You know, that would actually be a cool pick. Hold on. Let me grab this image. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good because I get all these crystals on the image as well. I like it. Got it. All right. So let's pour it down to the Lockhart, and we're going to begin all this again. <laughs> this time I'm very well enhanced. You might be going, Geek, we've done this all before. Yeah, we have. And there's a reason I'm taking different images for the thumbnails. <laughs> you just have to wait and see. Let me minimize that. Why am I stuttering this keyboard? All right. Let's get inside. Now there's going to be a couple things I'm going to do here. You encounter uh, bodies of fifth column guards outside the entrance to the base. It appears Leon doesn't believe in taking prisoners. Hmm. Tiger one, the Zookeeper repeat the Zookeeper becoming Tiger one. Uh, this is going to be him and you can read it again if you want. I'm just reading the send off and whatnot not dialogue. Just her informing him that I'm here to help. <laughs> I want to try my new... <laughs> Bye. Jerk. <laughs> Man, she's a beast now. Okay, it's not that big a map. It circles in on itself, but I'm looking for something, believe it or not. I'm not looking for Leon yet. Even though it says find Leon. Ah, I can hear what I'm after. Hold on. Hey, buddy, come here. Okay, 
So you hear that noise. Whoa, 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 buddy. I'm not here for you. Okay, you know what? Whatever, here. Life of a stalker. I'm here for this. It's not here on your initial playthrough, but it is now. Handwritten note. Go Scythe. Come see me after you're told about the situation at o Royal Overbrook. But before you go, there is a very narrow window of opportunity if you want to save her. Mender Valen. Who's this her you're talking about? If you're getting your hopes up, get your hopes up. That's why I love this arc so much. Yeah, I'm going to ignore you guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't have to fight anybody I don't want to. I'm just... Oh, son of a bizquick. Yes, I do. Alright, let's get rid of Vampy. I need to improve my initial strike ability, too. That thing is... Are you kidding me? You didn't see me take out your friends. You suck, dude. I forgot that if I don't clean this out... Oops. <laughs> if I don't clear a path, I'm in deep patootie. Okay, let's make sure the path is clear. Pretty sure it is. Oop, no, see, there's a, there's a, there's a, hi, we're going to take you out next. I know, I'm backtracking. Oh, I don't like it. No, you didn't see nothing. You saw nothing. You see nothing. Hi. <laughs> gotcha. Just make sure that the rest of the path is clear. Okay. Because I got to escort Leon out, which I think is annoying. Shouldn't really have to. I get it why you do for story elements, but yeah. Frustrating. All right. Let's go rescue Leon. There, there's nothing inside that I have to worry about because he's just sitting there. Oh, it's the backup. Leon glares at you intently. As you can... As I'm sure you've overheard, I have the situation under control. I've taken out their commander and most of the base's defenses. I doubt the remaining troops will put it much resistance, Leon says. But I suppose having someone watch my back isn't so bad. I'm Leon. What do you call yourself? Uh... Gusaid is fine. Right, well, go scythe. There's not much for us here. The facility itself has been crippled, but they managed to completely wipe their database before I could stop them. At this point, I don't think we've got any valuable info from this place. I recommend we withdraw the search elsewhere. We could bring the commander in for an interrogation. He's not in any shape to be answering questions. And neither are his troops, if you catch my meaning. I don't like that. We don't de-res. Leon's face goes hard, and he gestures to the motionless body of the nearby commander. Yeah, I see. That's unfortunate. Your muffled shuffling from outside. I think it's time to get ourselves out of here. Okay, well, let's go, Leon. 
Leon, please don't stay. Don't. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Mm. You idiot. <laughs> okay. Alright, Leon, let's go. Come on. Come on. You can see me. Don't pretend you can't. Let's get your butt out of here. They come from the other direction, so the other ambushes that are going to show up I don't have to deal with. They did change it so NPCs can follow you while stealth, which I'm thankful for. The only problem is they're not stealth. So if you got if they're active like this guy, they will attack things. Alright. Alright. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Let's go talk to Laura. And we got one more thing to do before I end the recording. Unlike last time. <laughs> I love this. After this, I'm going to go do the two-parter that involves your twin. Which has a very impactful ending. As you'll see. Okay, let's talk to Laura, and then we're going to do something, like the note said. So I wiped out the info. Dang, I was sh sure we'd get a lead on this one. I don't know why they would have wiped their logs. That's not standard column procedure. Either Leon took his sweet time reaching the main database, or something leaked. Laura's face reveals a wry smile, and she cocks an eyebrow at you. It's possible that my arrival in Paragon has drawn more attention than I expected. Okay. All right, go side. I put together a few possible avenues we can pursue in the investigation, and I wanted to get you... Laura stops herself. Short, putting a hand to her ear. You can hear muffled chatter coming from her earpiece. Miss that last message, Central. Please repeat. As the chatter continues, Laura's eyes grow wide. She looks up at you, her mouth slightly agape. We're going to have to cut the planning discussion for now. I just got a report of a massive column operation near Royal Overbrook, and it sounds like the council forces are mobilizing to meet them. This is big. If we don't nip this fight in the bud, it could spill into the rest of Steel Canyon. Uh, how should we proceed? We'll get you and Leon transport to the area. I know you could probably get there yourself, but we'll need to coordinate our efforts if we want to minimize damage. Once you arrive in the Overbrook, I can help direct the two of you. I'll be working with my team in, at Central, so we should be able to pin down the hot spots and point you at them. Let me know as soon as you're ready. We can't afford to waste any time. So, yeah, she gives you an opportunity to step away which is good because we had a note dun 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 and if you're wondering where Valen is she's right over here Hello, Gosite. It's good to see you. I've noticed you're using the Pillar of Ice and Flame by yourself, but I believe this is one task where you could use my help. Bah. I like this. Have you been leaving me letters in the past? Mender Valen smiles at you. I don't write letters, Gosite. A short note is the safest way to leave a message with minimum interference in the timeline. But... It's not safe from prying eyes. 
It is a very old trick, and only someone with very little experience in time travel would leave a letter, especially one where they discuss things in the open, blatantly, and at length. While her smile stays intact, her tone and voice say that this is not safe to talk about this in Ouroboros Citadel. I'm sure you understand very well. Why did you leave me this note? <laughs> Petty Officer Laura Lockhart of the United Nations Special Forces. You have visited this time stream already, and you know how it ends. The fifth column attacks the UNSF base of operations, and she duresses. No matter what you do, you always arrive too late to save her. Have you ever wondered why? She doesn't have a metaporter, but I can give her mine. I didn't use any healing abilities, time travel, someone is mending timeline, so she always dies. Dun dun dun. Mendervalen nods somber. History demands that her life ends at that time. Any timeline in which she survives, the attack on the UNSF base is minted away. Her absence creates ripples in time, subtle but necessary to survive the coming storm. So she always has to derez. How can you help? Lockhart doesn't have to derez. She just cannot continue her life after the attack, but she can start a new one. We can extract her from the timeline. You must let the attack on the base play out as before. But as soon as you reach her, use an Ouroboros teleporter to bring her to the Citadel. Officially, she will be missing in action. Presume de -rest. The timeline will accept that minor change, and nobody will need to undo her, our work. Hmm... Why her, why not others? By the time of your arrival to the base, the others will be beyond helping. Lockhart's injuries will be severe, but you will reach your before it's too late. Mindervalen lowers her head. You can tell that she hates what she's about to say. We can't save everything. We just can't. There are derezes who need to set in motion events that will keep Primal Earth safe from Praetoria and save it from the coming storm. We have just this one opportunity to save one person, pluck her out of the doomed timeline, and give her a second chance at life. We can't do it for them all. t -Rez can only be cheated once. I understand. Let's talk about the teleporter. And Raylan holds up a tiny device. This can transport a person through time, but only if their timeline is not in the process of being emitted away. This is why I ask you to see me before you head to Royal Overbrook. The Pont Tower must not be allowed to collapse. If it does, someone will have to go back and prevent it from happening, negating everything you'll do after the building explodes. While you can continue to experience the events, the teleporter itself will disappear from the time stream, just like the timeline will fade away once your insurrection incursion is over. Why is DuPont power so important? It's not the building that's important. Several employees of Metacorp live in DuPont Tower, and it won't be long until they learn that Praetoria has a way to disable existing Metaport order technology during the invasion. They will work their hardest to develop a new prototype before it's too late. Without them, Praetoria will be able to disable the metaporters and slaughter everyone on Primal Earth who opposes their invasion. The font tower must not fall. Understood. Give me the teleporter. Mindervalen hands you the Ouroboros teleporter. Keep it safe while you save DuPont Tower and infiltrate the fifth column outpost. Those events must play out as you experience them. Once you've reached Lockhart, and the UNSF base place the teleporter on her forehead without delay. It's already programmed to bring her directly here to the Citadel, where we can heal her injuries in no time at all. Her face brightens up slightly. We can cheat death today, death goes side. Save her this moment. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> I love this. And with that, 
I will see you guys in the near future where we saved DuPont Tower. And thank you for watching.